watching this free video tutorial which is a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Corona 4 Cinema 4D. It is a massive 8 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona 4 Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out. Open up the node material editor and let's start with a basic plastic shader. I'm gonna create a new Corona material and assign it to the shader ball and run the interactive rendering. For a plastic shader like wood or concrete, diffuse color or texture is the most important and dominating component and for plastic it's normally a simple color. Let's go for a yellow diffuse color with the RGB values of 233, 182, and 56. As I mentioned in the reflection video a few lessons back, in Corona you can set the reflection level to 100% in almost all cases and Fresnel IOR for most opaque surfaces can be set to 1.5 to 1.6. Let's uh, use 1.6 here. And as we learned, reflection glossiness is the most important parameter that needs to be customized per material. Depending on how matte or shiny the plastic reference that you want to create, you can obviously work with the glossiness value. In this case, let's try something like 0.8. To make the surface more realistic, we do need to use a reflection glossiness map. So in the project files for this course, I have provided a lot of black and white grunge or dirt maps. In this case, let's load this BW38 map. We can connect it directly to the reflection glossiness input of the material and then start adjusting it until we get what we want. But as I'll be using this map for the bump map as well, I want to keep a raw version of it and instead connect it to a Cinema 4D filter map and connect the filter map to the reflection glossiness input. At the time being, the filter map does have some issues with the interactive rendering. Hopefully it gets solved because it's such an important map. Let's see what we get for now. I think the map is just a bit too rough. So in the filter map, Let's make the darker wall use a bit brighter, about 25% brighter. So now the surface can be less rough because the map we are using is having brighter values compared to before. Let's connect the filter map to our bump map as well. And set the bump strength to 3%. Maybe it can be lower. Let's try 2%. And the last thing would be to add some subsurface scattering to make the plastic come alive. Set the subsurface scattering mode or volumetric mode to SSS. And set the fraction amount to one. Radius to three, four centimeters. and copy the diffuse color to the scatter color and just make it less saturated with the exact RGB wall use of 233, 190, and 101. You can probably set the tiling for this texture tag to something like 1.5 and 1.5 to get a bit more reasonable size for these textures. Uh, we're just gonna make sure the highlight compression is set to one and contrast something like 1.5. And this is what we get. Let me just show you a clear final render of this shader. And here is our nice uh, realistic plastic shader.
And if we want, we can simply create a, let's say a green plastic shader by adjusting diffuse and scatter colors. So let's duplicate the material in the materials window and drag it into the node material editor and assign it to the shader ball. Change the diffuse color to this green color with the RGB values of uh, 64, 156, and 46. And a lighter, less saturated green color with the RGB values of uh, 106, 213, and 90 for the scatter color. Just to make the subs for scattering a bit more obvious, we can increase the radius to 5 centimeters in this case. And I'm gonna set the contrast back to 1 in the frame buffer. Now let's see what we get. And here is our green plastic shader. Let me show you a higher resolution render for this shader. Here it goes. Thanks for watching this free video tutorial, which is a free sample from our course Comprehensive Introduction to Corona 4 Cinema 4D. It is a massive 8 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona 4 Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out.